Mauritius, the richest country in Africa. Why is tiny Mauritius the richest country in Africa? Let's go find out. <laughs> of course it's Eben. Huh? Skyscrapers. This is why Mauritius is the richest country in Africa. And it's Eben. Who knew that this was on a tropical island? Anyway, I had a really cool thing, but Ricky doesn't want to do it. She wants to be spontaneous and things, so no, um, no scripts for us. So look below, you can skip ahead to your favorite bits with the chapters. Other than that, start the montage. been attempting another 4k good idea not good idea I don't know but the good news is they have money they have sidewalks so it's unlikely we're gonna get run over here uh, I do have a little bit of a limp I am sorry about that so we are gonna go nice and slow but look at these buildings wow 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 they are not tropical islandy I mean, they're the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite of what you would find on a tropical island. They are huge and they are banking and they are cyber towers. In fact, we're gonna go have a look at one that's over there a little bit. That was the first one. Now you're really an old man. You should be using his tripod as a walking stick. <laughs> if you thought that other side work was impressive, have a look at this one, it's even got trees on it. And a little barricade so the cars can't come and drive on me. We're not in Goodlands anymore. Yeah, pretty windy. But nice views. Unfortunately, it's really windy anywhere else. As you can see, these flags are, well, that one's dying, but that flag is going crazy. So it is a little bit windy here, but I found a little niche where it's not so windy because I want to talk about this building behind me. That was the first building built. Coming out of the sugarcane, you can imagine it. It would have been a sugarcane field very similar to this. And can you imagine this sugarcane field 20 years ago and suddenly these buildings start growing out of it? Wow, what a sight that must have been. The expansion's not over yet. As you can see, this building behind me is one of the newest additions. Even though we're some two or three kilometers from Eben, they're starting to build in the sugarcane again. Awesome flags whipping in the wind. Ah, there they go, so probably not the thumbnail. But massive buildings, massive, massive buildings. I think probably the most you're gonna see of me in this video is just my head popping up with huge buildings behind us. There's a little Ricky there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what we need to do is, no, maybe on that side. Come in, come into the fold, come into the fold. Point. Probably not a good thumbnail. Oh well. Where's my hat? Nice hat. Thumbnail, probably. We don't know, we're gonna go have a look. Because, uh, yeah. People here, it is almost, it almost is lunchtime here in the Airbnb. Uh, we're just going to get a little bit ahead. A lot of people don't actually want to be on camera, so we've got to turn it a bit. But I just want to swing around uh, so I can show you what the biggest business in Mauritius is. That is the biggest business in Mauritius. 51% of the economy is based on construction. So let's go have a look at a bit of construction here where they're spending 
billions of rupees building the tropical mega city in Mauritius. Hugely expensive land, huge buildings, and then an empty plot with just a palm tree. Take a video from this shot because this is a big empty piece of land. So probably within the next year or so, there's going to be a big building on here, and then we can come back and have a look because things get built very quickly in Evan. This big building is being built for Next Sky. I don't know what Next Sky is. Maybe it's satellite people, but this is the banking avenue. So maybe it's a bank. Yeah, there's a party bus. We're going to head down there because that, that you can just see sticking out, is Cyber City One. And that's our next destination, through all these big buildings. Even though everyone here seems to have tons of money, and I'll show you some of the cars in a minute. We've still got a motorbike car, and that's pretty cool. New plan, it's gotten a little bit windy. So instead of walking to Cyber City, we'll drive there a little bit later. But there's still tons of buildings, there's still tons of construction going on, but I think there's a limit to how many buildings you can show people and how awesome you can talk about them. This so, one looks cool for a thumbnail. That one probably looks good for a thumbnail. I don't know if we... It'll be really small with the palm tree. Oh, that's awesome, because you can just see the palm tree and we can point at it. Oh, how do we point? No, I point backwards. I always point like that. With the palm tree, with the building. Okay, I think that's the thumbnail. I think we got the thumbnail. Whoa! Through the cloud and gone. I guess not all buildings can be beautiful. Some of them just have to be government functional. Or a big car park, because that's what they really need here is parking. And now we're getting some Ricky as she walks on by. Really big bus stops to move all the people. Get them all out at lunchtime, off to Bagatelle Mall, and get them all back again in time for work. If you need to be this close to read this, you might need to come to this eye hospital. I've been looking around for a while, and they all seem to be office blocks. Uh, but apparently a thousand people do live here. I'm just not sure where. Maybe in Cyber City 1. I think that's a, one of those work here, play here buildings. Live here, play here, work here type of buildings. So maybe smart city. smart city. Maybe that's where they are. Maybe that's where the, the thousand people are. But at the moment, uh, it's a little bit uncrowded here. I know that's going to sound stupid when I show you the next thing that I'm about to show you. Look at that traffic jam. <laughs> but anyway, most of the people here in Eben are still on what's called slow time, half time, work from home time, where a lot of the people are not here. So just behind me, you can't actually you can't see it. Hide. There used to be a huge food market, like one of one of the best food markets that I've ever been to. And that's closed now because they just don't have the people to support it anymore. Because they're all working from home, so what we'll probably find a little bit weird is if we actually went into any of these buildings, which we're not allowed to do because we have to get permission from their head offices and all sorts of problems. So you'll probably find that if we went into that building, say, half of it would be empty. Practicing social distancing and work from home. I mean, it's pretty cool, but a little bit sad for the, the city, which normally had a lot more people in it. Okay, I nearly got run over there because there's a slope on the pavement. So I can't walk on it, so I have to walk on the road a little bit. But I'll get off it now. We're going to be picky about our sidewalks now because we're in Eben. And this one's not as good as the other. <laughs> the pavement sort of ended, unfortunately. I think this shows it quite nicely with the palm tree and then the, the structures all built up around it. I and mean, these ones are all quite old, so they would have been around from the beginning. Around 2005 was probably when they would have been built. And something I didn't mention about the building 
just over there was that in 2005 it won best city in the world best building smart. in the world best smart buildings best smart smartest build building it was the smartest building smartest building in the world in 2005 so it's probably as smart as my cell phone yeah they are pushing the boundaries of uh, technologically advanced buildings in Eben. yes they really are I mean a lot of the new buildings that they're building I know because I worked on a couple of projects are really doing some interesting stuff it's lunchtime now so there's loads of traffic make my look so difficult like all slow and stuff and then suddenly he races when I'm blind up a nice shot how awesome is this we have the central central electricity board building here in Airbnb and they've got one of the old turbines one of the original water turbines look at that the cup flow system with the the the, the, those things that have magnets, magnets, and it also on a little water pump. How cool is that? I'm just going to swing around so we can get another angle of it. But wow, the finds you can make in a place like Airbnb, when you just thought it was big, big towers, and those really are some big, big towers. But you can also get a little piece of history, and they're using it as art. And I think that. That pretty much sums up Mauritius nicely. Yeah, he will get exactly, get himself exactly behind something so that I can no longer see him. You managed to put yourself right behind a rock. Because I'm right behind the log. <laughs> That's this. Yeah, try again, pretend, point a lot. Artistic shot of flowers going up onto big mechanical thing. For some reason, Ricky's hiding behind a plant. Maybe she's getting pictures for something. Ah, oh, she was trying to get some images of the flag. Let's wait for her to pop out. And hopefully the flag will blow for us just at the moment. Okay, I'm getting wind blown, but the flag isn't. And there she is coming out with the flag in directly at me. Ah, oh, what a pity. But here comes Ricky. She's off to Intermart. She'll be walking right on by and I won't be following her because I know how to do this now. Artistic shot of the building through the flower as we break on through. Wow. Even Brian can move faster than traffic at lunchtime and Evan. Us being like so jealous because he's moving and they're not. <laughs> it is one of the cool things about a glass building. As you can see another building in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit warped and disturbed but that's pretty cool. It must be coming out. Oh, there goes the sun. Bougainville pop out. It's <laughs> Ricky. Oh wait, no, she's filming. She's supposed to look pretty with the building. Anyway. Let's try that again. Bougainville pop out. <laughs> Bougainville, Ricky and building. Awesome. Attempt at a Bougainville building thumbnail. A point, because that's what I do. Not sure what I'm pointing at. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's a thumbnail. <laughs> no. This is why they traffic jams in Eben. <laughs> going and then a typical Mauritius van you get some fashion and typical Mauritius fashion you get some rain it's getting wet so, <laughs> lots of pretty much Brian's like you'll get lost and you won't be able to find me it's like no I'll find you <laughs> don't worry Loads and loads of food in here. So, if you happen to be in Eben, this is probably the best food court. Probably in Mauritius, I would think. And we are in Eben, so if you're paying 50 rupees for Helene, 
Well, you know, location, location, location. This is rice and noodle home. But they have some really interesting things. In particular, I'm thinking about one of these chicken cow things. They're 65 and I have no idea what it is. They have other exotic looking things. I sort of recognize some of them, but you know, what are they? It looks almost Korean, so let's try the pow. I think I'm going to have a chicken pow. What are you going to have, Rick? I don't know. Now that's a fried bread. It's a whole slice of bread that's fried. Who made something? Tech not. I'm going to get chucked in the microwave. So hot as well. And that was 100 rupees, I think. Okay, so this place has pizzas and pastas. And over there, some burgers. And they don't actually have it. No. There's really nice menus, but the only thing they have is the stuff that they've made. So I found a little place at the food court outside to try my. I'm not quite sure what it is. It feels like a bit of bread with some rice in it. Mm. It's very much like this is omelette. But this bit here. The outside is, is like an egg omelette, like a thick egg omelette. And inside it's like gooey, maybe rice and potato uh, with a bit of that um, garlic onion, uh, garlic onion y stuff. Quite nice. A little bit of hot sauce out of this world. So I'm going to leave that a little bit for Ricky because this is what I really wanted to try. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a chicken dumpling. Steamed bread. Steamed bread with chicken inside. Oh, you can see the bit of chicken poking out, but it's hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very gluey bread. Steamed bread always is a little bit gluey, but it's so flavorful. Oh. And the chicken and spice on the inside is great. This one is definitely a winner. This place actually looks quite nice. Their food that I can see on tables looks looks very nice. So if you can afford, come here. Ricky got herself a toasted sandwiches. They're pre-made and then they toast them for you. How awesome is that? Yeah, they toast everything. It's just like a burger to heat it up. It's quite they good. can actually toast a burger. Well, I'll show you one of those now. Let's stick it under the panini press. Show the people what it looks like because it looks pretty good. It actually does look quite good. Oh, it's like quite thin. Is that just like cheese on it? Yeah, yeah, it's just a cheese sandwich. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wait until she tries my little puffy bun. <laughs> so, tastes like a toasted cheese. Hot. I guess everyone knows what that tastes like. Mm -hmm. He's about to try the steamed bun. She's not sure about that. It's got a nice little bun with a weird chickeniness inside. It's alright, I think it's okay. Quite like sweet? It. Oh yes, it is, it is quite sweet. If you like those sweet sausages, it's not quite as sweet as that. But it is a little bit sweet. And then the egg thing? Oh, Ricky doesn't like that. Ricky doesn't like that at all. She is not a fan. I get to finish the rest of this. So I'm happy with that. It's like chicken and jam in a bun. No, it's not quite as bad as that. It's like chicken and chutney in a bun. You know about sweet chutney, like a tamarind chutney. But not tamarind, just the sweet bit. It's like tofu. Is that tofu? Is that what that is? I thought it was egg. Okay, so maybe that's tofu. I thought it was egg. Well, there goes my, there goes my career as a food, foodie kind of person. Oh, it's tofu. Wow, it's tofu. You know what? What, what is weird about tofu, it tastes like a um, quiche egg. It might be egg. I think it's, I don't know anymore. Yeah, I know, we're going to have to get some tofu and try. It's not bad. It's quite nice. I like the, the garlickiness of the, the filling. Do you want to put some of that on your cheese? I'm going to finish this off, it is that good. <laughs> Mm. 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 There's no cheese. Mm. <laughs> A little bit of egg. But it's like Ricky just said. 
I think you guys like it. I just like cheese. I mean, look how thin it is. You guys have all seen my American style ones, and they are like 10 times as thick as this. This, this was, this was that other thing I got was 100 rupees, you saw that. And do you know what you can get with 100 rupees at lunchtime? Over there. I think McDonald's is going to destroy this place. And it's sad, but you got to up your game if you want to compete with the big boys. There really is no cheese. I'm gonna have a bite just to let you know. Mmm, toasted bread. Pinks of margarine. I have to let you say it is toasted cheese. Mm. How much was it? 50 rupees. 50 rupees for a slice of bread that's toasted with some margarine. My bun was at least 65 and that's got chicken in it. Do you see cheese? Mm. There's not cheese. Upset, Ricky. Let's go to McDonald's now. Yeah, it's open. Yeah. Every now and then, and I'm going to say more now than then, you see something a little bit strange. Like this queue. What are they waiting for? Why are they queuing there? A bit odd. That is a very sad sign. Very, very sad sight indeed. Hungry Ricky. Hungry, hungry Ricky. And unfortunately the McDonald's is not open yet. But I will take her somewhere. Somewhere nice. I'll take her to a nice place and she can get something nice to eat. So I think that probably sums it up for Eben. We're going to get run over because we're not in the good part. Okay, quick outro. Eben, it's full of buildings. It is quite good. It has some history. The food, a little bit to be um, repaired. Obviously, the petite place is still going to make it. They're going to be okay. But as soon as the Golden Arch is open, I worry about that rest of the food court. So thanks for joining us. Remember to subscribe and you will be... The next thing you'll see is us driving away. He has us driving with Mebe. <laughs> Might take a while. <laughs>